to you all. The defense could build what they want, where they want, how they want, uh, you know, just about anything. They lost it. And they had a periscope in that little uh, workshop. Where the two windows are was a complete panoramic window where the officer commanding would look through a periscope along what was a railway track here, of which the train... We're going into Thames now, which is the Oxford Mess dining area. It was the Oxford Mess uh, from the early uh, 20th century, by that I mean First World War, and it was completely then rebuilt. Although it says 1847 on that flag, and before, I think that was an extra piece of masonry that they rebuilt the top floor of cabins in the submarine of the Legitius. you're actually looking down the stern of the 19th century fleet. The fact is that these ships continue the names of many of which the buildings of your world war past. Uh, there's Dolphin, there's Mercury, there's Polymenture, there's Maidstone, suffering depot ships. And this is how the names were carried, and this is what Harold Wiley undertook. And he's still in the He has his own Father Christmas outfit. <laughs> uh, he's got his own laurel leaves for uh, uh, Calvinite. Uh, he's a much revered uh, statue and he joins in all the fun games. But, as I said, you can get a general feeling of an Edwardian building and uh, the fact that it has changed little since the early 1920s. Any questions? Mm -hmm. or is anyone... Thank you. 
including the carpet because no dolphins all around the outside and also we've had the two views here on the left as we go out into the door. One shows you dolphin around 1915 and we reference the top of the uh, submarine escape tank when it's being built and a more modern outlook will make us more on my guess the Please do not sit in the swing seat. It's uh, a little bit unsafe.
stop there, Stephen.